Hello everyone, welcome to my very first studio vlog. In this video, I'll be working on some new stickers, making and packing all of my current shop orders, and also my Patreon sticker mail. So sit back, grab a snack, and watch this little peek into what goes down behind the scenes of my sticker shop. So the first thing I'm doing here is planning out the day's tasks in my bullet journal, of course. I like to split my shop tasks into batches, so I will usually batch together printing and cutting my sticker orders on one day and then packing all my orders the next day. So that's exactly what I plan to do this weekend. I find that that just helps me prevent burnout, so I recommend it. But before we get into orders, here's some clips of me working on new Animal Crossing planter stickers. I sell a bunch of these in my shop already, but I wanted to make more because the Animal Crossing obsession is just not going anywhere and I keep falling in love with new characters all the time. So I drew and colored in all of these already, except for Raymond because I know everyone's obsessed with Raymond right now. So here's me trying to do him justice and portray him as a planter with a little bonsai tree kind of sticking out of his head. next drawings into stickers. This process goes by pretty quickly in the video and my screen is sort of washed out so I'm just going to give you a gist of what I'm doing here. So I take the selection tool and select an area around one of the stickers. Then I go into the selection menu and smooth out the selection a few times until I'm happy with it and I also use the expand and contract tools in the selection menu as much as necessary. And this is all to get that white border around the stickers, so I'll do this for each one of them. And then you can just fill in the selection of white or copy a white background behind it.
I use a Cricut machine to cut my stickers, so these next few clips are me taking the sticker files into the Cricut Design Space app, and then finally getting to print and cut them out. Yay, such a process to make all these stickers, but the final result is very satisfying. So here are all the new stickers all together. These aren't in my shop yet, but they will be coming sometime in the week that I post this video, so just make sure you're following along on Instagram for all the updates. After finishing those stickers, I took a much needed break and then began writing down what stickers I needed to print for my shop orders. I use a very sophisticated method of tally marks to do this. Okay, I don't know what other shop owners do, but this just gets the job done for me. Then I printed all of those out and let my sticker machine do its thing, and that was it for my work on Saturday. Sunday was all about packing. I started out by printing and cutting enough thank you cards for my shop orders today and then writing down receipts on the craft baggies that I used to put stickers in. Then I'm cutting out each of my sticker sheets. And now I'm sorting the stickers in the baggies, which is definitely the best part in my opinion. And after this, I wrap each one in some tissue paper and then I pack them into mailing envelopes.
The next thing on my to-do list was to pack all of my monthly sticker mail from Patreon and write out notes to all of my patrons, who I am so grateful to. May was my first month launching Plantful Mail on my Patreon page and I'm very excited about it and I want to give another huge thanks to everyone who already signed up because that means so much to me. And that's the end of my shop work, so that's where I'm going to end the vlog. If you got this far, wow, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I'd love to hear if you'd like me to make more videos like this or any other type you want to see. Okay, see you in the next video.